Horror Story Title The Strange Book Episode 2 Arthur tried to slam the door shut, but the creature was too quick. It forced its way inside, its long, spindly fingers reaching out to grab him. Michelle screamed, her own fear finally bubbling to the surface. She grabbed a nearby vase and swung it at the creature, shattering it into a million pieces. But there were more of them. They seemed to be coming out of the woodwork, crawling out of the shadows and filling the room with their inky darkness. Arthur and Michelle fought with all their might, using everything at their disposal to fend off the creatures. But it was no use, they were outnumbered and outmatched. Just when it seemed like all hope was lost, a brilliant light filled the room. It was as if the sun had risen in the middle of the night, banishing the shadows and the creatures alike. When the light faded, Arthur and Michelle were standing in the middle of their living room, looking around in wonder. They couldn't believe what had just happened. As they sat down to catch their breath, Arthur knew that he had to do something to make sure that this would never happen again. He decided to burn all of his horror novels, every last one of them. It was a difficult decision, but he knew that it was the only way to truly be free from the horrors that he had created. As he watched the books turn to ash, he felt a weight lift off of his shoulders, and he knew that he had made the right choice. From that day on, Arthur Logan lived a quiet life, far away from the world of shadows and darkness. He knew that he would never forget the things that he had seen, but he also knew that he had the strength to face whatever the future might bring. As the years passed, Arthur and Michelle found solace in their peaceful life. They spent their days enjoying each other's company and exploring the beauty of California. Arthur had given up on writing horror novels and instead focused on writing children's books. But one day, as they were walking in the park, they heard a familiar voice. It was one of the characters from Arthur's horror novels, a creature that he thought he had banished forever. Arthur and Michelle turned to run, but they soon found themselves surrounded by the creatures. They were more powerful and terrifying than ever before. Arthur realized that he had made a grave mistake in burning his books. He had released the creatures into the world, and now they were back to take their revenge. The creatures advanced on Arthur and Michelle, ready to tear them apart. But just as they were about to strike, a bright light enveloped them. When the light faded, they found themselves standing in a different world, a world of bright colors and beautiful music. The creatures were nowhere to be found. They looked around in wonder, realizing that they had been transported to a different dimension. Arthur realized that this was the world that he had created in his children's books, a world of wonder and magic. He knew that he had finally found a way to defeat the creatures. By creating a world of love and beauty, he had banished the darkness forever. As Arthur and Michelle explored the magical world that Arthur had created in his books, they encountered new and wondrous creatures. They were amazed by the beauty and creativity of the world that Arthur had imagined. But as they traveled deeper into the world, they also encountered new dangers. Dark forces still lingered in the corners, threatening to bring the darkness back. Arthur knew that he had to be careful. He continued to write his children's books, but he also began to create a new series of stories, stories of heroes and adventurers who would fight against the darkness and protect the world. As he wrote, he felt a new sense of purpose. He knew that he had a duty to use his writing to inspire and protect the world. Arthur and Michelle spent years traveling through the magical world that Arthur had created, encountering new challenges and new allies. They fought against evil forces and saved innocent lives. And as they traveled, they began to see the impact that their adventures were having on the world. Children all over the world were reading Arthur's books and dreaming of their own adventures. Arthur and Michelle knew that they had found their true calling. They had turned their own darkness into light, and they were spreading that light to the world. Years later, as Arthur looked back on his life, he knew that he had found his purpose in writing. He had faced the darkest parts of himself and emerged stronger and more creative than ever before. He had discovered that the real horror was not in the darkness, but in the fear that it inspired. And by facing that fear head-on, he had become a true hero. As he sat down to write his next adventure, Arthur knew that he was exactly where he was meant to be. He had found his calling as a writer and protector of the world, 
and he would continue to use his writing to spread hope and light to all those who needed it. The End <laughs>